on take 570 million billion trillion. <laughs> right, for this uh, tutorial of making a balloon bassoon, you're gonna need a tube. Uh, you can get the middle of the cling film or the kitchen foil, which is perfect, the hard white tube. You need a yogurt pot. This one's still full, so I found um, another little pot I can use. It didn't have yogurt in, but it does have a rigid top here and it's got a bottom that I can cut. Um, yogurt pots are the best. If you can't source a yogurt pot or another pot like this, you could use two takeaway coffee cups stacked together as well. Um, I tried to use a hot chocolate pot, but the bottom's too thick for me to get my scissors through. So that's no good. So you've got your tube, you've got a pot. You will also need some scissors and a balloon and some blue tack, okay? And also maybe a straw. Molly, I'll just have to use it as it is, please. Just bring it. I was trying to get Molly to open the play doh for me so that um, I had something safe to drive my scissors into. So you can use play doh or blue tack, whatever. Um, just make sure that you don't do it directly into your hands. You're going to make a small hole the size of your tube in the bottom of your pot. Go carefully because if you crack your pot, it's not going to work, all right? So you need to be gentle. So just screw the end of the scissors into the, um, through into your Play-Doh, there we go. Yeah, we did homemade Play-Doh the other day, that'd be good. Um, it was just corn flour and conditioner, hair conditioner, mixed together. So it's not even real Play-Doh, it's cheats Play-Doh. <laughs> All right, so I'm being really careful. I'm trying not to cut the hole for my pipe too big. I'll just check it. Not big enough yet, but if you go too big, it just messes it all up. So just go slowly and keep checking. Just nibbling off little bits at a time. Grown-ups, this is a bit for you to do. Did I mention that? I'm not sure if I mentioned that on this take. I've done that many of these videos this morning. Now I keep going wrong. Right, great. So my tube is through my hole and it's quite... There's a little gap, a little air gap, which I'll have to tape up, but that's no biggie. That's fine. I'm going to make another hole now in the side, about a third down from the top. So the bottom is where you've put the hole and the top is the other end. And just, again, using the empty scissors with your Play-Doh, please make sure you use Play-Doh or Blue Tack. I don't want to be responsible for anybody ending up in casualty when they slip. Okay, so I've made... A little hole in the side. Um, parents, please make sure you take off any snaggy sharp bits as well. All right, because we don't want any little mouths being hurt. Right, you need to get your balloon. So um, there's your hole in the side. Bit of play doh stuck to it there. <laughs> Can't get off. One hole, two holes. Get your balloon. Um, you can blow it up. And then release, you can play a game and have it flying around the room, extend this activity. And you're going to make a cut um, between the neck and the equator. You're going to cut about here. So um, I've actually cut loads of balloons up for this tutorial. So can you cut about there? And then you're left with... Two pieces. You see? You don't want to cut too high up the neck, otherwise you can't stretch it wide enough, and you don't want to cut too close to the equator, otherwise it won't hold on to your tub. You can get your tub. It's easier to hold it between your knees and do this, uh, but you won't be able to see it on the video if I do that. So you stretch your balloon nice and wide and pop it over the top of your tub. Oh, try again. Oh. <laughs> oh my dears, right, come on, behave balloon. Right, get rid of that balloon, I'm going to cut another balloon, a bigger balloon. Okay, 
so I've stretched it over. I'm going to just secure that with some tape so it doesn't ping. Do, 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 do. I've taped over my hole somewhere, so I've just found it. I'm just going to carefully just remake my hole. So that you've got somewhere to blow. Okay, all that's left to do now, now that you've got your skin on, makes a nice little drum. I'm going to post your tube up through the hole in the bottom of the tub so that it's touching. Oh, that's the other end actually, the other end's flatter. So that it's touching the. Um, skin it's, it has to touch that if your balloon bassoon does not work make sure it's touching the skin okay and if it doesn't work you're gonna have to tape up any holes around your tube as well let's see if this works so you get your mouth over the hole or you can use a straw if you're being um, if if you're being very hygienic although it's harder Now that doesn't work, I can feel air coming out the bottom, so I'm going to have to tape up the bottom. You don't want to let any, any air escape out the bottom, all the air needs to come out of here, not out of the hole that you've made for your tube, okay? I'm rushing because I'm doing a video, but you can make it all nice and pretty. Let's see if it works now. <laughs> yep, that works. So, to recap, don't have any air escaping out the bottom. Make sure you've sealed it. Make sure that your tube is touching the skin. And then with your little air hole, you can use a straw. Again, you're going to have to... Um, tape that in place so there's no air escaping no, I've got too much air escaping there but it is harder for the children to put enough air in um, to make that work so nice and loud you might love me or hate me after this you might want to send the kids out in the garden please please show me your makes um, they are quite tricky to make, but once you get the hang of it, the dads love making these, so maybe it's um, a project for dad to do with the kids. Um, people become quite competitive with who's got the loudest one as well, and if you use different lengths of pipe, you get different um, pictures coming out. Um, do get involved, show me your makes, hashtag them with um, Harmonies Music, and keep in touch on social media. Um, yeah, show me what you've done. See you soon!